Hello everybody, my name is uh, Mamoun Fidali. I present you the work entitled CLA Plus Validation of the Code Protocol. This is a joint work with my colleagues, uh, Jean-Paul Baudevet, Julien Brunel, and uh, David Chemoui. First, a little bit history about this protocol. 20 years ago, an official version of this protocol was published. This protocol addresses peer-to-peer -peer lookup services for internet applications. Four years ago, Pamela Zaev published an alloy model of this protocol. Pamela Zaev validated her model through model checking and also elaborated its main correctness properties. Two years ago, with my colleagues, we published, we published a paper about the mechanization in event B of this protocol. However, since in event B, temporal properties are not explicit, we have looked for a formalism where temporal properties were explicit with respect to model as well with respect to specifications. So we considered TLA. In order to give an intuition of the code maintenance protocol, suppose we have uh, on the network on the left, that is we have a set of nodes and uh, each node has a successor, has a pointer to another node. So the role of the <coughs> code maintenance protocol is to move the connections on the left to the connections on the right, such that they, they define a network connected according to a ring topology. We should also mention that the network, also the protocol handles, handles the, 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 when a node uh, join or fails. In this talk, we will focus on the verification of a liveness property. This is the maintenance, uh, liveness property of the maintenance protocol. That it, more precisely, we will focus on the liveness of stabilization. We will um, establish this verification on a TLA plus model. This validation will be done in the TLA logic. And we will also formalize the basic notions and properties that are required to reason on such uh, networks and also for the proof development. The this work has been mechanized and it has been mechanized with Isabel TLA. However, we will present the work in a TLA, in a TLA style instead of in Isabel. First, we present the model of the state of each node. So we consider that each node has a first field that is member uh, it is a Boolean representing the fact that uh, the node is alive or not. Then we have the successor lists. The, and this is the view of the node of the other nodes starting from its supposed successor. Then we have the field PRDC, which is the supposed predecessor of the node. Then we have the inbox set, and this is the inbox of for the delivered messages. And then we have a program counter and this program counter is supposed to take its values in an enumeration predicate with three values. And last for stabilization, we have a no more, or no more join or fail uh, Boolean for expressing that uh, we have reached the starting of stabilization. We will come back to this later. And the global state is represented as an array of local states. Consider now about the maintenance protocol. So the maintenance protocol is uh, represented as a set of transitions or TLA uh, actions. Um, among these actions, we have protocol actions, but we have also operating assumptions, that is the assumptions that we will make, for instance, for the fail transition. 
And we have also a virtual stabilization for expressing, that is here, mainly for correctness, for, for the correctness of the stabilization. As usual, the specification is specified as the conjunct of the disjunct of the transitions and of the liveness properties. The liveness property is specified as the, <clears throat> as the liveness of each of the transitions. And we suppose that the, the protocol transitions on each node are weakly fair. Concerning now the protocol properties, the main property is stabili stabilization and the stabilization is stated as follows. When no more joins or fails occur, all the live nodes, that is the members, are eventually linked through a unique ring. Each node successor list is, and each node successor list is correct with respect to the member nodes. And Pamela Zev has also stated the main property, that is its inductive invariant, and this inductive invariant is stated as follows. The successor list of member nodes of a node is not empty, and the set of successor list of principal nodes is also not, uh, not empty. I'll come back to this notion of principal nodes later. Now, in order to specify formally the properties of the protocol, we have to specify basic notions, for instance, basic notions concerning the rings. First, we specify the between predicate, the between set. So the between, the between, um, between set defines the, the nodes that are between two nodes uh, along the ring of nodes. And then we specify also the suck node function of a set M of a node N. Intuitively, the suck node over a set M of a node N is the nearest node to N compatible with the between relation. A crucial notion for the correctness of the code protocol is the notion of principle. Here, we will first give a lightweight version of this version, of this definition, of this notion, and we will see later how uh, it is linked to the uh, original definition of Pamela Zave. So given a set of nodes M, a function F over M, the principles of F are the nodes of M that are not between any pair M, F of M. This notion is in fact, <clears throat> is not exactly the one that uh, Pamela Zaev introduced. Pamela Zaev introduced its principles over the successor lists. However, here, these uh, principles are over over the first element of this, indeed over the first element of these lists. And in fact, uh, our notion is stronger than that of Pamela Zaev. We state now one uh, important theorem about this notion. Given a function f over the set of nodes m, m is the set of principles of f, if and only if, f is the subnode function over m. And other theorem with respect to prev node, um, given a function f over the set of nodes m, p a principle of f, the prev node of m over m is also a principle of f, if and only if the only node in m with image p is the prev node is the prev node of P over M. The last result that we will need is the back propagation of a predicate. I will not give the details of this back propagation here. 
I'll just give the intuition of this back propagation. So the basic idea is that uh, given a predicate, uh, we want to know how many times we should propagate this predicate along the ring and we propagate it through the prev node function. So this result is intuitively trivial. However, we have we had to state it explicitly. And the, 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 the result is that if we propagate this predicate along the ring, the uh, a number of time, which is the cardinality of the number of nodes of the ring, then we reach the full propagation. We have the full propagation of the predicate. To summarize, let us give this uh, figure. So on the left, we have the prev node and suc node function. We note also that the between uh, function is, uh, the between set is strict, that is between 10 and 16. We have uh, the set from 11 to 15, which does not contain, which does not contains the boundary nodes. On the right, we have a function f modeled by the red edges. Uh, we have also noted the principal nodes with a p and the um, non-principal nodes with a p cancelled. <clears throat> and uh, for instance, and um, 16 is principal because it is not skipped by any uh, edge, by any edge, while 57 is not principal because it is skipped by the edge 54, 60. So now we can state formally, what do we verify? So we verify that when no more fails or joins occur, eventually, a distributed and replicated version of the stick node function is built. That is, on each node n, the first element of the successor list defines suck node over the set, the, the set of members, and the tail of the list defines replicated first successors. A distributed also, a distributed version of the previous function is built. On each node n, the variable or the field PRDC defines the prev node of N over the set of members. Concerning the stabilization proof, uh, first we have had to validate the system invariants proposed by Pamela Zave. That is the successor of list member nodes of a node is not empty and the set of successor list principles node is not empty. And concerning the stabilization, we have used phases. So once the virtual action no more joins or, or fails is fired, we first establish that the first elements of successor lists are members, and then the first elements of successor lists define a function over the members. So we can apply the previous results that we have seen. Then we show that the prev node is delivered to, the, to one principal. Then the field per, the field per DC, the, the PRDC, PRDC updates to prev node. And since the PRDC updates the prev node, later prev node becomes the principal. So this establishes the, the basic step of the propagation that is starting from a principal P, we show that it leads to that pre its previous node also becomes a principal. Then thanks to the full propagation result, all members become principal. And since all members become principal, we have 
um, the, uh, one of the main results of stabilization, that is the function def def the defined by the first element of the successor lists is in fact the suck node version. Just to illustrate this through uh, the following figures. So here we consider any, any principle, for instance, 60. 60 has a previous a prev node, 57. Uh, it has also as antecedent 54 and 49. 57 is not principle. However, 57 is eventually delivered to 60. Once 60 is 57 is received by 60, 60 updates its PRDC, uh, PRDC field and, uh, and then um, it, it, it is updated. And since it is updated later, all the antecedents of 60 will, uh, will not be anymore antecedent of 60 and it will, uh, they will take as images, for instance, 57. <coughs> 57. So PrevNode becomes principal. And so we have established the basic result for the propagation. And uh, we can, uh, thanks to the full propagation result, we can establish then all the nodes will become principal. And then the red links and the suck node function will be the same thanks to the previous result. Last, uh, about uh, Isabel uh, TLA, all the model and the proofs have been done with Isabel TLA. The we note that uh, for this mechanization, the state predicates had to be made explicit for better proof automation. Uh, as I already noted, uh, for transaction structuring, uh, the use of guarded comments has made easier the handling of enabled. Uh, also, the use of, um, also we have, thanks to Isabel TLA, it was possible for us to um, express ad hoc versions of meta theorems and consequently uh, augment the readability of, and also the automation of our proofs. Just to give you a flavor of a meta theorem. So um, here we have a, a rule that is we have the premises and the conclusion. And here we conclude on a leads to property and um, Thanks to this result, uh, um, sorry, in the premises of this uh, rule, we have only uh, first, uh, what we can consider as first order predicates and consequently are easy, easily or more easily, uh, we have more easily automated proofs for such premise, premises since they are not anymore temporal. Of course, this, uh, this result uh, is an instance, this uh, we note also that uh, this is an ad hoc meta theorem because this result is in fact the instantiation, uh, an instantiation of the TLA logic WF rule on our problem. And uh, it relies on the fairness of the from predecessor transition of our model. To conclude, uh, in this work, we have used the principles theory that we have mechanized in Isabel HOL. We have also used Isabel TLA for temporal properties and for meta theorems. Uh, we have presented the study of the maintenance of the court protocol through a TLA plus model. Uh, we note that the invariant proposed by Pamela Zev is indeed invariant for stabilization verification. 
And also that stabilization liveness relies on the weak fairness of node transition. And uh, we consider this result interesting since in our previous study, we were convinced that uh, strong fairness was necessary for stabilization. Thank you.